more about it, which, which is a testament to the fact that they, they suppressed this for 75 to 80 years. It wasn't until the city of Tulsa uh, created a, a committee that actually dug, did the investigation, and went into the It history. seems as though the average African American doesn't even want to even discuss it. It's like it, it's mentally not even on their radar. Yeah. Yeah. And it was real. It was real and not only is it real was it real, it's it's it's, it's left a stink. It's see, it's left a real uh, 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 deficit in in, in, in in the aspirations uh, and, and the thinking uh, the positive thinking of our group as we move forward. I mean, there's something there. That. It is done now, but, but here's what it's done. I have a Jewish friend. He's 80 years old. He's never wanted for money. His father had, was a diamond uh, broker, so he's always had money. He said, I lost my first, million, my first million when I was 20 years old. So he's always had money. But you know what he tells me, son? He says, Daryl, what you gotta do is you gotta build wealth. You gotta build wealth. Well, see, making money is just one thing, but you got to build wealth. So, so what he's talking about is a legacy of being able to pass that on from generation to generation. That's what they destroy in Tulsa, Oklahoma. They destroy our legacy of wealth, a 